that. Eh, uh, you think uh, your side of the bed might be uh, free this weekend? No, why? Well, uh, <laughs> I think my boat might have come in with uh, Sadie from the abattoir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so you want me to uh, go to the uh, spare room so that you and... Ah, uh... yeah, fair play. <laughs> no, feck off, you randy pup. You'll end up like Podrick Mahoney. Or Pony Mahoney, as the ladies of Abbey Sphincter used to call him. Pony? Yeah, he was a typical ladies' man. A real stud. He was obsessed with his looks and couldn't pass a mirror without looking at himself. He'd brag how he bedded every woman in town and how he had run out of bedposts to notch. <laughs> it was like a game to him. All he was interested in was getting his end away. A variety is the spice of life. He used to say, I'd ride any woman with a heartbeat. He cared nothing for the women he seduced. Of course you're the only one. Eh, what's your name again? And as soon as he had his wicked way, he dropped them like a hot snot. The scuthering Amadon. Oh, he couldn't care less about the consequences of his actions. The broken hearts, the broken marriages and the many children running around the streets looking suspiciously like him. That was until last year when a uh, young newlywed couple moved into town. Ah, uh, no, no. <laughs> he wouldn't go after newlyweds now straight off their honeymoon. Ripe for the picking, Raj. <gasps> the moment he clapped eyes on the fresh-faced young beauty, he knew he had to have her. <laughs> he got wind from the locals that the husband was a professional type and had to commute out of town to work. And when the husband's away, the pony will play. So, uh, <laughs> did the Pony Express make a special delivery? <laughs> he went into the art shop where she worked and turned on the charm 100%. I'm a famous local artist. Do you fancy posing nude for me? She said she wasn't the modelling type. Well, how about a shag, then? I'm not into the old flabby type, she replied sternly. Jeez, I say the gobsheen didn't like that. Oh, no. Because as far as he was concerned, he looked like a 21-year-old man. This encounter made Pony more determined than ever, and his sole obsession was now this ultimate conquest. So, uh, what did he do? He pestered the young woman morning, noon and night, one day she turned to him and said, I'm not interested in you and I never will be. You need a man to give you some good loving. That dickhead of a husband of yours is never around. He grabbed her and forced himself on her. But she was quick. She needed what? where it hurt. Ha! Right in the gels. You're a feisty young filly. <laughs> But I've a couple more charms up my sleeve. The next day in the hairdressers, he was leafing through a magazine. He saw an ad. Look ten years younger. Plastic surgery for men. It was a revelation. She said she didn't like the old flabby type. Well, he was going to turn back the clock. He headed for Dublin and checked in the very next day. I want the works, he said. It'll be expensive, said the consultant. Yeah. She'll be worth it, he replied. Uh, Podge. What? And uh, this plastic surgery lark, now, uh, do they do uh, that on all parts of the body? Yeah. So, uh, if I uh, had a small um, nose, could they make it bigger? Yeah, but I wouldn't bother with your nose. Uh, it's your Mickey that needs the attention. Anyway, the next day, Pony woke <clears> up. <throat> his face was itching and his stomach was sore from the liposuction. Get these bandages off. I want to see the younger me, he shouted. When he peeled the bandages off, Pony didn't get quite what he had expected. His face looked the same, except his... penis had been grafted to his forehead. <gasps> For the love of St. Margo in a rickshaw! He fell to his knees in shock. Who's the dickhead now, Mr. Mahoney? Said the young consultant. I trust you won't be harassing my wife and the women of Abbey Swinkter anymore. Jeez. His wife. So whatever happened to Pony after that? Oh, well, uh, 
He became quite a successful actor. Oh, yeah, in the West End of London. Uh, playing the lead role in the uh, stage version of uh, The Elephant Man. <laughs> Come here. Did he have a big part in it, did he? <laughs> very good. Thing. Will he be bringing it to Broadway, will he? <laughs> oh, very, very good. You'd want to be good. cocksure to be in that business, though, I tell you. There's probably a big knob over there, oh, then. Very good, Roger. <laughs> la, la, la.